What's up guys, this is episode 4 of the Creative Club Karma with ZM Cohetes. Last episode was relatively a really good one. Although we did lose to Real Madrid, at the start of the episode we were able to win all other matches after that. And because of that, we are sitting on the top of the Premier League table with 18 points in our first season. That's fucking insane. We have won 6 matches and we have lost only 1. That was the one we lost to Real Madrid. And we're not only winning those matches, we're actually winning those matches with clean sheets. Our keeper, Vandre, has gotten 5 clean sheets in 7 matches. And those two matches that he didn't get a clean sheet in were against Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid. And those are the Giants of fucking La Liga. Which makes me wonder what the fuck kind of beast he's going to be in like five seasons time. Don't count me out, Rose, Kovacevic, Omo. I am counting you out because you have been fucking my game up for so long, to be honest. I mean, not so long because we just started the series ago. But like, in all the matches that I have played, I am I'm not really comfortable with using him. And I am definitely counting him out because... He's just not good enough to be in the team I'm trying to build. Still doesn't mean that I won't give him his playing time though. We have a couple matches to play in this episode and we're going to be starting with this one against Real Sociedad. I'm going to change the their kit to their away kit real quick because I have no idea why the fuck they won't just do that by themselves. This is the team I am going with, making no changes to the original starting 11. Fonseca has reached an 81 rating. I have no idea if anyone else has grown. I think Helvig has reached an 80 as well and that's pretty much all the changes that i can see so i have no idea if real Sociedad is going to give us a run for our money but i'm not going to take them for granted in this match because i absolutely have a reputation to uphold here we are the newest team in the la liga and we are doing wonders already i have no idea why german is on this but i'm going to change it to kallenberg real quick and the plan is to find donovan here so hopefully he gets the header and that was that was really fucking close he's still with the ball here so I mean, it's really nothing I can do. Chance is gone, basically. But I will give Stewart, and he's not able to give um, who I want. But we're still with the ball here, so there's still a chance. Just have to be calm here. And try and get this goal. Wh why? Why? Okay. Okay. I, I really wasn't expecting that, but he still got us the goal, so that is our first goal. Really, really unexpected that he was able to do a chipping header when I didn't even ask him to do that, but I mean, that's pretty good for us. They have equalized, and we're in the 54th minute right now. We have a really good chance for a counter-attack here, and that was the wrong that was the wrong person I, that they gave right there. That is so annoying. I, I, I asked them specifically to give it to German, but I have no idea why they're giving it to Fonseca there. That's so... That's so fucked up. Let's try with Fonseca. I have no idea how much power I put into that. And it's straight, basically straight at the keeper. Okay, we have a golden opportunity here. Fonseca is in on goal. So I just need, I just need you guys to not fuck this up. I just need you guys to not fuck this up for me. Thank you. That is 2-1 in the 75th minute. Good for us, really. And that is yet another win okay so it's still 2-1 and we're in the 89th minute so if we win this so if we get this opportunity right i won't really be bothered about them equalizing right off the bat i have no idea why they keep on giving this shit to german i'm going to have to change it because obviously something has changed let's hope donovan gets ahead on it and it's really far but he actually still he actually still got it that was nice that's really good heading ability from him but we do win the match 2-1 our first match in this episode and we have come out with a win. Tuko is really proud of this team to be honest and he's actually doing really really well. I'm not going to lie though, that was a really good goal from German even though I really didn't expect him or tell him to do that. He was still able to improvise and get the goal for us. It was a really good chipping header. Next up we have the match against Espanyol away from home. I'm going to make a couple changes. I'm going to give um, Kovacevic some playing time. I mean he increased to 76 if I'm not wrong. And then I'm going to put Batch on the bench and give Torres a chance. And then Lozano is going to come on for Zaratu. Zaratu is already on his 76. That's good for him. And I think Stewart has already increased to his 79. German has gone up to, to an 80 already. That's good for him. We draw the match though. Kallenberg and Lozano get the goals. Next up, we're playing Sevilla at home. And I really do not understand why the game doesn't automatically just give them that away jersey. Okay, we're back in our home stadium here against Sevilla. Sevilla is a good side. So this is going to be a relatively tough match. And hopefully we can actually defend well and attack well our first order of business is a defensive highlight and they have a free kick that we're supposed to deal with it goes for please okay they still have the ball so we still have defending to do here i mean my defending is not really that good so i'm i'm relying on what's his name that was a really high job what before i'm relying on, on Vandre to actually help help us out because 
I don't want shit to happen. Exactly, exactly. I was literally just saying that. So next up, we have a counter attack. That's that their attack took long enough. All right, so we just have to defend really well in this match. Okay, that was that was good. And they're not going to let us continue with the attack, are they? No, they are not. So we're in the second half, and we have our second attacking scenario of the match. And can't believe they've subbed out. Uh, I can't believe they subbed out German, but that pass was too heavy, and he actually still he actually still got the ball. So this is actually a really good opportunity here, and I'm definitely not giving whoever that is because he's most likely going to straight offside. I knew it, completely knew it. So, oh, that was close, that was close, and they have a solo run here. So Helvig has a lot of work to do right now. Hopefully, he can actually stay with this guy and not concede. Fucking hell. There's so much that Vadre can do in a match, to be honest. I hate these highlights where it's attack and defense because they give them so many attacking scenarios and they give us really, really few. So, what what, what way is he going to play this? I, I went the complete, the complete wrong way. Wait, did they actually show the direction that he was going to play it? Because I saw, like, I saw an arrow on his body right after. Oh, we can actually make subs. Wait, we can actually make subs. Oh no, we can't go to the substitute place. So, they are 2 0 up and this, this will really. This really sucks for us, to be honest. And they have another, yet another penalty. What the hell? Like, are they just going to give them all the freaking penalties in the world and we're, and we're, and we're just going to be here, stop doing nothing? And, yeah, they didn't give us a direction there. So, I mean, I wanted to dive to the left, but, I mean, I was just hoping that I could follow I could follow the, the arrow that was being shown, which was going to the center. So 3-0 this is going to be our worst loss and they are they are literally giving them all of the freaking opportunities here that is that is that is bullshit it, like this game has done us dirty because i have no idea why the hell sevilla is supposed to be getting all of the attacks and the thing is that when i do get the ball they now cut it so i have no chance to actually build up an attack with my own that is fucking stupid though so we have lost the first match of the episode our real madrid has gone ahead of us with three points is the reality check beginning to come in because we have villarreal now away from home and these guys are also really really fucking tough barcelona is still in eighth position i have no idea what they are doing and then the scouting reports are available and i am really really strict when it comes to to um, signing these guys their potential range has to be really good like this guy oscar martinez here and their overall has to also be fairly good i mean nothing less than 50 i mean nothing less than 55 and because this guy is 54 to 72 there's a probability that his overall is not going to be less than 55 so i signed him and then we have this guy as well his overall is not really that good but his potential is okay so i'm going to sign him regardless and then this guy is complete shit this guy as well and this guy as well as for netherlands we have our very own van dyke sadly he's not going to be coming into the team and then no for this guy as well no for this guy as well this guy your overall is absolutely fucking shit so no for you no for you so there actually isn't anybody from netherlands hopefully it wasn't a mistake that we sent our scouts to netherlands so the match against villarreal is here as you guys know they are our rivals if you remember i actually put them as our rivals at the beginning of the series so this is going to be a match that i absolutely have to play and i absolutely have to win i want our first rivalry match to be a good one and i want villarreal to know there's a new team in town who is going to give them a run for their fucking money all right so we have the fans walking in to be honest the team is actually growing pretty at a at a faster rate than normal i mean the important players are actually doing really well because they are formed and they are and their overalls are moving faster than normal we have german already on an 80 on 91 i i recent i saw that kallenberg has already increased to a 79 there so we're going to be so close to it to an all 80 attack just that Rise is still out injured and that and that sucks but this match is is rather scary though. it's not it's not going to be as tough as the one against Real Madrid or Let's Go Madrid because I feel like um, those two teams are better than Villarreal, like on paper though. I mean, we shouldn't really lose this match. We beat Atletico Madrid and we gave, um, what's their face, Real Madrid a run for their money. So this match should go pretty well for us. That's if the team doesn't decide to focus up. All right, so we have a corner here in the 25th minute. Not a lot has happened in this match and we're giving Donovan straight up and he's not able to capitalize on that. Let's see if we can still hold the ball here. And we have Fonseca and it goes for goal, but the keeper was able to, to hold it. I mean, it was pretty much straight at the keeper in the first place. And we get the ball again. And it gets taken off us again. And we have a really chance, a good chance for a goal here. And we're able to get the goal 
German gets another goal for the club, and that is a really, really good start to the game. Not a lot happened in the in in the beginning stage of this match, but we're able to come alive and get the first goal in this match. We are away from home, so this match is going to be a lot tougher, but we are able to to get the first goal and we get a golden opportunity straight up and it gets wasted because this team cannot do shit on their own for once and wow what a turn what a fucking turn and of course they get the goal back immediately i mean i can't really complain about that that was really brilliant play good turn from him by half time i have no idea what kalimberg did there just now but i mean thank god thank god we are done with this match because this match has been annoying like we've been we've, we've been missing pass after pass i haven't really shown any of it because it's really annoying my soul and we're going to the second half let's hope that this match can be at least a tiny bit better let's hope that we can at least get these guys to make actual sensible passes i haven't seen i haven't seen slower reactions in my life this team is absolutely fucking irritating me right now this match i really don't know what else i want to do because i'm trying my best to at least play a normal game and it's not even like um i don't know what i'm doing it's more like i cannot do what i want to do because this team just would not allow me like legit they would not just allow me like, like look at that i mean if look at that i mean first of all i didn't i didn't want the pass to be that long i tapped that freaking shit and he went so far to Zarachu and then he now completely fucked up the return pass. Yeah, that was that was close. That was close. Bradley was barely able to save that. And well that was that was good play from Stewart. And he's still going to give it off to German who absolutely fucks it up with one single stupid ass pass. Okay, so we have a good opportunity here. And um, please score it. Of course, of course, of course you don't freaking get the pass right. Alright, so we have a good chance on goal here. Let's just hope that shit doesn't go wrong. And we still have a good chance. And that was that was a really good play. That was the best play we've made in this entire match, to be honest. Sad that it wasn't sad that we weren't able to come out with the goal at the end. So we have one last push here. If we do not get this opportunity right, we, we're, pro we're probably not going to have any more opportunities till till the end of the match and we have one golden one here and this guy freaking missed it i really i legit cannot believe this guy missed that just now like it's it's really it's really really unbelievable that we actually missed that right now that could have been the last opportunity of this match and like it's just gone just like that i mean that's pretty much the match there nothing we can do about it it's our loss i don't deserve that personally but the team the team is fucking stupid. The team is fucking annoying. I don't even know what to say. We could have done so much better in this match. They could have done so much better in this match, but they just, but they are just fucking shit right now. That's another match plus, and we're all the way down to fourth position. Sevilla is ahead of us with just goal difference, and let's just see if we can make the most out of these coming matches. Next up, we have Elche. I'm going to be simming the match. It's really, really close by to the Villarreal match, and we do get the win. Fonseca scores and Helvig scores as well. The medical staff have cleared Rise to return after injury. He can now rejoin first in training. You don't know how happy I am to hear this. Bye bye, Kovacevic. Like legit, you have a red card, and legit, you sir are going all the way back down to the reserves. Next up, we have the match against Almeria. Rise is still quite ready to play but we are unable to win this match cabrera is the one that gets the goal for us and to be honest reality is beginning to check in our keeper is still the clean sheet leader and i mean this this league is becoming really hard we are still we are still on fourth position that's because sevilla probably lost their match as well Rise is fit for play here and he has dropped down to 76 he's still better than both kovacevic and cabrera right now i want to change both Rise and german to wingers and that injury has definitely not been kind on him he has dropped all the way down to 76 that is really sad but i just want to turn him into a right winger real quick before i do anything else with his development schedule i'm simulating this match yet again i want you know one nil to ride valicano and who else got the goal Rise got the goal he is back and he is already banging in the goals this custom report for november has come in and i don't see any players that i really want to get right now so spain has come up empty this time around so let's hope that we actually get something good from netherlands i see nothing really i mean the the best player here is this guy so i'm just not even going to bother with this so our last match is going to be this one against rc Celta, and i'm playing the attacking highlight Rissi has gone back to a 77 helping is on an 81 that's good for him still works already on an 80 so we're looking closer to having an all 80 team all we need right now is zaracho 
to actually speed up his growth right now although he was the lowest rated player when we started with 74 and actually done really well to get all the way up to 76 and Badre is only 78 as well so I mean our team is really close to becoming an all 80 rated lineup this episode has been a really big reality check because I really wasn't expecting all of this to happen I really wasn't expecting to lose two or three matches in this episode alone and that sucks but let's see if we can actually try and get our, our team form back after that win against I can't remember what team that was but let's hope that we are going to be able to get the win in this match we are playing just the attacking highlights and let's hope that we can actually come out with the win we, our first opportunity here is in the 17th minute. I really can't see anybody. Okay, I can see Rise. He's he's. Oh shit! He actually turned back before I made the pass. That was that was my bad. And now I'm definitely giving to Ponteka. If they don't fuck me up first, and of course he fucks me up first. I mean, what the hell was the ref even doing there? I mean, that completely discombobulated my attack. I see Ponteka right now, and I am definitely giving him, definitely giving him this. If shit doesn't happen and of course shit happens he's trying to give it to german thank you score it please thank you that was a really really good goal to the top right corner the keeper had no chance of taking that i wish we were able to see the replays in this attacking highlights but we cannot we have yet another attack solo run for okay so it's solo run i mean it's basically it's pretty much a solo run because i'm about to blast this into the post and okay <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? So we do win the match 1-0. I mean, it was a really, really short match. And that last opportunity for Fonseca was so funny because I was legit... <laughs> I was legit expecting the keeper to at least save that, but that was so wide. German's one that gets the goal in this match. It was a really good good opportunity that he took there. It was a really good match, even though we didn't really play that much, but still. With that, we're able to get ourselves to second place, although majority of the teams have a game at hand. Hopefully, Villarreal and Sevilla get fucked up in the match that they're about to play, so we can actually keep our second speed, our second place spot right now. But the highlight of next episode is this match right here. ZM Cohetes versus Barcelona. You do not want to miss that. That's going to be yet another tough match. Hopefully, we can actually hold our own like what we did against Real Madrid unlike what we did against Villarreal because that Villarreal match was really fucking annoying to be honest because it was like the team completely shut down I have no idea if it's because the rivals and they were so fucking tensed up or something like that but anyways this is the end of the episode if you guys have enjoyed it so far make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let me know who you think is your favorite player in this team and what you think about the team performance in this particular episode I personally did not like it but I mean there's still so much more room for improvement the players are gradually increasing they're still young and well eventually will be a force to be reckoned with so once again thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode peace